Alright, I'm going to take a different approach to this particular SketchUp file. Uh, we're going to be building in context as opposed to just trying to build a piece. Um, I also want, I know I'm going to have two scenes, so I'm going to go ahead and add them in real quick. The first one is going to be the, first one will be the wall, second one will be the layout. Alright, so let's work on the wall. Close this, R for rectangle, and the wall is 8 foot, comma, 8 foot, enter. And my window in the wall is 48 tall, comma, 35 left to right. This is actually a wall in my bedroom, or a window in my bedroom. And just to simulate a wall, I'll push that that direction, delete this, and there's my nice window, yay. All right, it's 35 inches left to right for me on my particular window. I do not have any molding, so that's my measurement I'm going with. If you do have molding around your window, then just take your outside measurement. Let's make this all a component real quick. And the goal here, or the objective here, was to make a project out of a single piece of wood. So I went with a 72,11.25, a 6 foot. 1 by 12. P push pull, this direction 0.75 inches, spacebar, triple click, we're not making it a component. We are actually just making it wood. So there is my board. And can I get a project up here off of this? Well of course I can. So we're making a curtain rod shelf and I want my shelf to be 4 inches wider on both sides than the window. So 35 plus 4 and 4 is 43. R for rectangle. Uh, 43 comma. I want the front to back depth measurement of the shelf to be 7.5. Enter. Now there's my shelf. I also want a vertical support piece below it that also ties both brackets together. So it needs to be, I'm going to say a quarter inch longer uh, I want a quarter inch leeway on both sides of my window just in case so let's go 35.5 comma 2.5 and the 2.5 is to accommodate a pocket hole screw and three quarter inch material. I also want a triangular bracket one for each side and I'm just gonna use a 30 60 90 triangle because that's easy to do however if I was to just draw a 30-60-90 triangle and cut it out. Th this top side is going to be covered by the shelf, this back side is going to be covered by the wall, so the only visible side is the hypotenuse of this triangle, and I don't want any end grain uh, showing on this particular line, uh, particular piece. So, I'm going to back up here and instead I'm going to use my protractor to make a 30 degree line, alpha line, and uh, my front to back measurement of the shelf is seven and a half, so let's go with 6.5 instead. That way I have a one inch overhang in the front. Let's go back to the protractor. And next measurement is 90. Alpha line, connect the dots, delete the guides. So there's my triangle bracket and this back side is end grain it'll be covered by the wall top side end grain covered by the shelf front side the hypotenuse is long grain it will be visible and it's a nice good surface for me to route on I need two of these so M for move control brings up copy and I'll just put these along this other side over here so there's one two shelf brackets one shelf and one support and that is my project right here on this piece of wood. So I'm going to move and I'm going to move this one over here and I'm going to use this one for my layout in just a little bit. But this one, because I did not make it a component, I can just remove this material like so. And just that easy, I have all my pieces cut out of that block of wood. So spacebar, triple click, G for component, enter. Let's make all these components real quick. So we bought the wood, we marked our cuts, we made our cuts, now let's assemble. Let's Q for rotate. Like so, M for move. I 
like so and I want to grab this highlighted piece at its midpoint and drop it off at the midpoint of the horizontal shelf that way they are symmetrical left and right let's grab one of these brackets and for move and move it over here uh, let's move it down Q for rotate let's rotate it in like so and along the green let's go ahead and rotate it like so and for move and put it in place. I've already done the work of rotating this, so I'm just going to delete this one, grab this one, and move. Control brings up copy. Just copy this one in place. So that, there we go. That is essentially the shelf, curtain rod shelf. Um, oh, I need to add a hole for the curtain rod. T for tape measure. Let's go three inches here. Three inches. And three inches there. C for circle. A, a three quarter inch hole should accommodate most all curtain rods, so 0.375 for the radius. And we can delete the guidelines. P for push pull. Let's get rid of this face. Grab this face and say stop on this back edge. Now, how do we make a chamfer on this cylinder? It's not really that difficult, it's just a different way to do it. Uh, F or offset and we want to start the, the chamfer at 0.25 inches away on both sides so let's go to F for offset 0.25 inches away and that's where we started it where we want to end it let's move this at the end location which is 0.25 inches into the piece let's go to this side and move the end location 0.25 inches into the piece so now I have a nice chamfer on that cylinder right there. I also want to make a chamfer on these front two edges as well. Um, follow me command would work great if this was a re you know on this rectangle up here, but not necessarily this because it is got some uh, non 90 degree corners, so it makes it a little bit weird for the geometry. So we're going to draw the start and move the finish. So T for tape measure. Let's say 0.25 inches away, alpha line, and at this intersection to this intersection, go to the other side and do the same thing. T for tape measure, 0.25 inches away, alpha line, intersection, intersection. Let's delete these guides. All right, so that's where it starts. Where does it end? Let's grab this M for move, and we're going to move this edge 0.25 inches into the center of the material. Same with this side. And for move, let's grab this edge 0.25 inches into the material. So now I have a nice chamfer on both sides. That's a non-90 degree corner and of course a non-90 degree corner down here. So pretty cool. Uh, let's see the bottom of this shelf. I need an edge detail so let's edit this part by double clicking. T for tape measure 0.5 inches away 0.5 inches away, alpha line, connect these dots real quick, delete my guides, delete my guide, and let's select my path, side, front, side is my path. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to get an error message because I did not make my profile along the start or end of my path, but in this case it is okay. So path selected, follow me, click on profile. See there's my error message, unexpected results may occur that's okay because in this case it does not matter so there's my shelf that was quick that was easy let's go ahead and hang it on the wall Whoa. all right I'm going to grab this thing on the midpoint and drop it off along the midpoint of the window. So that's the curtain rod shelf and remember I did two scenes here so let's right click and update the wall scene. Now for the layout let's go with a parallel projection and let's go with a top view and there's my piece. So for the layout, let's right click and update layout. Let's go back to it. 
Let's dimension this out real quick. And this triangle. Just to make a notation, let's just say that uh, 30, 60, 90 triangles. That's okay. So this is my nice little layout that I can print off and take with me. Oh, let's remove this axis real quick. Turn axis off. There we go. I can take this with me and uh, all is fine and well, but uh, I've got some wasted material here, so let's find out real quick how much or how big of a window this particular design can accommodate. Let's move this back into place. So here's my same six foot piece. I can select my length on my shelves because this this right here, this eight inches or so represents the overhang. The overhang is going to change. The only distance change would be the window size. So M for move. And we can verify that you can get a about a 50 inch window. You can make this particular shelf for about a 50 inch window on a six foot piece of wood. So pretty handy to know that. But there's your layout. There's your wall, quick and easy.